Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I definitely want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. It is free, and you're helping me. Hit that notification button and bell so that we can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. Now, as I said, in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I definitely want to get into. We're talking about Blueface's mother, Miss Carissa. Now, listen, she's been on the internet today, and she's been talking. She's been making these posts, and basically, to make a long story short, she said on this day last year, Blueface basically allowed Krishan Rock to whoop her and fight on her and violate her and her daughter and didn't do anything about that. And a whole year from that incident, which would be today, he is in jail because he just was released just today, but he's on house arrest. But he was in jail today. And she's saying, how ironic is that? It's been a whole ass year from you letting her do some retarded shit to us. And now you're sitting in jail for the same girl. And she has the same issue that WAC 100 was saying. And I'm not sure what they expected her to do while she was waiting for Blueface to get out of jail. Because on this term, yes, they said that he was going to have to sit for a few days because he violated his parole uh, from his probation. He shouldn't have never got involved. Hell, she shouldn't have never got involved. Him being, I hate to say it, as much as he goes back and forth with this child, him being a person who I'm sure really does give a shit about her and really does care about her. He did what he had to do to protect her. And especially since we know that he know that, that that's his baby. So, of course, he was going to protect his baby's mama. So, yeah, he got into some trouble, even though he shouldn't have gotten into no trouble. And she should have watched herself to make sure if you know that somebody has probation or somebody's on probation, don't do shit. We all know that. Don't do shit to get that person into any trouble. So, she really, this really falls on the both of them. But really, it falls on her for even striking that lady. Because if that lady would have struck her back or hit her in her stomach or something like that, all hell would have really broke loose then. You can't even put your hands on people, lady. You got to wait until that baby drop if you're going to continue to still be ghetto and trashy like that. But, back to Blueface's mom. She made this statement and people are going, people were saying both things in the comments. They're, they're agreeing with her. And they're saying, you know what? Krishan Rock is Blueface's downfall. And I've heard this for a while now. So many people think that Krishan Rock is Blueface's downfall. I'm kind of on the defense. I think that both of them are their, their, their worst and their best people. Because when they want to be great, they have the potential to really show us like, oh, shit, you feel me? She got a little potential. All right, Blue, we see you. He got a little potential. You know what I'm saying? And then they have those moments where it's like, boy, y'all really out here on some fuck shit. Like... Are you guys on drugs? Like, what else are you on besides weed? Because weed don't make people act like how they be acting. And I know that they be drunk too, but it just seemed like they be just a little bit too turned up at times. But with this mama saying this, and then she makes a comment in the comment to, in response to someone in her comment section, and they make a statement and say something about like, well, what about, you think you're going to have anything to do with that baby or something about Krishan and Blueface's baby. And she says that she don't give a shit about that baby. Blue is her. She said Jonathan is her baby, which is true. But at the same time, you definitely, definitely don't need to be saying those statements like this and saying bad things about your unborn grandchild. Because whether you like it or not, this is Blue's child. So this makes this your grandchild. And she keeps getting herself caught up in certain things. It's like, dude, this is someone's mother. And at the end of the day, I'm like, she's... She seems like she's, she seems so hard, like she's a part of her, her children's life. Yes, we get that. She's going to have her opinion. And there are times where I definitely think that she should have her opinion. She definitely should be able to say some things. But it's like she just inserts herself in sometimes at the wrong time or she just adds, she'll say something good. I'll put it like this. She'll say something good. And then she'll fuck around and say something that is be like, dude, why you just couldn't stop at what you just said? Like, you should have just cut yourself off a minute ago. So I'll give her that. But in this day and age, you can't be called saying little stupid shit. 
And I'm not sure how her and Blue's relationship is right now, but I know she's always going to rock and care for her child. No point intended. But she needs to do just a little bit better at her. Don't even respond to the people in your comment section. I would even probably just cut my damn comments off. But I know that she likes to get, she likes to get a thrill. She likes for people to interact with her. She likes to go back and forth. Especially since she's not going to really be going back and forth with Krishan Rock or Jada Alexis. She's got to go back and forth with somebody. So she'll argue with the internet all day, every day. And she won't argue with Blue. Blue will just say what he needs to say and then just keep it pushing. So he's not going to argue with her ass either. But she should be, if anything, trying to figure out her next steps in her life moving forward and what she can do to better her relationship that she got with Blue and to most definitely better her relationship that she got with, with uh well, the lack of relationship she has with Krishan Rock before that baby gets here. Instead of worrying about talking about, you know, y'all go tune in for my show and yes, go tune in for the show and get her some views and a whole bunch of other stuff and I'm pretty sure she's entertaining as fuck so I'm pretty sure she'll get all the clout and all the views but at the same time, like, you gotta... You really got to think about this child that's about to enter the earth. It's another baby that's about to enter the earth. It's going to be your other grandchild. You, you, you're going to be discriminatory? What if there's a day where Blue has all of his children and he goes by his mom's house? Are you going to treat his other children with Jada better than you treat the one with Krishan Rock? Like, no, you're not going to. I mean, some people do do stuff like that, but I just can't see you being a grandmother and you being discriminatory towards a child just because of their mother. So if you if you want to really do some positivity, try to get a good relationship with the chick right now, especially while she's trying to be in, you know, high spirits, especially with the baby and being happy and stuff. Try to get her right now while she's in this happy ass spirit and move and see what's popping. Otherwise, I don't know what else to say. And I don't know where the hell JD is. I guess she's still just shooting her music video. And I guess she'll see blue when she sees blue. Y'all drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully.